Hey guys, so I just watched the Rings of Power, the, uh, the prequel to The Lord of the Rings on Amazon Prime. Now, um, a lot of, there's a lot of sort of controversy around this show. Um, it, I think most of it's not warranted, um, but essentially I just want to do my review on it, what I think of the first two episodes. And um, I want to start by saying I don't think the, the show is a bad show. I think it's average. I think, re like, objectively speaking, the show is very average. Um, however, because of what it's attached to, it makes it... Um, it's got high expectations, and I don't think at this stage that any of them are quite there yet. I think possibly it could get there. Um, so I just want to sort of talk over some key points, things that... Um, the, Things that well, we actually we'll start with what I enjoyed of the of the show. So there was a lot of things I did enjoy. Um, probably the main thing was the visuals. I think the show looks it looks good. It looks very expensive. It looks movie quality. Um, it doesn't feel as though any of the money has been wasted, which is fantastic. Um, the 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 outfits, everything looks really good. Uh, which is which is great like that's that's an awesome thing um the locations look beautiful um however um the there's a few things that again actually in in regards to that is the things that i don't like of, of the visuals is like the um the elves so the elves uh so in peter jackson's lord of the rings the elves all had like long blonde hair or brown hair and they all had a certain unusual look to them um, personally I wasn't really a fan I think uh, some of them just looked a bit odd uh, most of them looked odd apart from the main characters um, but here they've gone the other way which I don't think is inherently bad but they just seem very normal there's nothing about them that seems um, ethereal or uh, mystical or anything like that they just seem like humans with pointy ears now that's not, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think in, the, in regards to the Lord of the Rings, the Middle Earth thing, it does, doesn't does quite gel with me. The hair just seems a bit um, like buffy as well. They look kind of like they're, um, I don't know, Liberace or something like that. Kind of like uh, this sort of bouffant hairstyle, which is an, an unusual uh, design choice. Um, but anyway, uh, the dwarves, I think, they na I think they're pretty much nailed. I think they look really good um i this is a nitpick of mine i'm not this is a personal thing i don't think it's a bad decision i just i'm not a fan of it is the the big fake prosthetic noses on the dwarves i just think it looks a bit silly but um that's that's a personal preference but i think they nailed that i think they look really good the men of course are just dudes they look like dudes they're fine like the the human characters they're fine um the hobbits or the the half foots are Surprisingly, I liked their subplot. That was one of the few things I really enjoyed, which we'll get into in a bit, but um, I thought they kind of look okay. They don't necessarily um, seem like they're from Middle Earth. They kind of feel like they're from like some other fantasy um, show, but they kind of work in a way. It's weird. I'm, I'm actually um, curious on how that plot line's gonna develop, but anyway. So, so apart from the visuals, uh, which are pretty fantastic. Um, the the plot itself, I found to be that this is the main problem I have with the show is that it just feels like I know it's only two episodes in, but there's no um, there's nothing that's hooked me. I'm not like, oh, what's what's going to happen next? Uh, uh, what's going to happen to this character? Where's that? Uh, that there's that elf with the short hair. I'm like, what's he found underground? I'm I'm really not even concerned. I don't. I don't really care. I don't, I'm not attached to any of the characters. Um, Galadriel has her um, now. She's sort of the sort of the main character, and, and she I couldn't care less for her. Um, she's off trying to find Sauron, and, and just some of the stuff with her I just find um, just there's no there's no investment there. There's no um, I don't I couldn't care less to be honest. If she avenges her brother, we know she's not going to, but it just I don't care. Um, that's a problem in a show where it's supposed to be going for how many how many seasons, how many episodes, and I don't care about 
the core issue, the core conflict with this character. I don't give a shit about off just straight off the bat. Um, and that's like all the characters. I'm mildly interested in the hobbits, but that's because none of the other stuff's interesting, which is not great. Um, and I, I don't want to compare it to um, House of the Dragon, but I'm going to. So, quick story, but was really into Game of Thrones, then just went off it in the last season. I thought it was, it just got worse. You could tell they were rushing things. I think everyone was like that. So I was very, watched House of the Dragon, very skeptical, very um, cautious. I don't want to get sucked in again um, or be, you know what I mean, be disappointed. And it, they just nailed it. I found um, Matt Smith's character fascinating, like just charismatic, an asshole, real interesting. I found the um, all the other characters like interesting. I want to see where all of this stuff's going. Straight away, first episode, I'm like, yes, I'm, I'm down. This is this is awesome. Familiar but different, um, but still engaging. Um, whereas this is semi-familiar but not engaging, and that's a massive problem. Um, and it's, again, it's two episodes. You can't write off a show on, on two episodes just because they're average. You know, I think that's a bit unfair. So I'll keep watching it. But uh, anyway, there's no there's no group of people in the show that I'm interested in finding out what happens to them other than Gandalf. It's definitely Gandalf, it has to be. Um, and then the Hobbits, that's kind of interesting. Um, which I didn't think it would be, I thought it would be shit. Anyway, so what else? Um, the All of the scenes that they have in the show so far have been beautiful to look at but uninteresting. The dialogue, I couldn't really care too much about what they're saying to each other. It felt a little bit, you could tell they were trying. The dialogue is not bad. It's not, um, I don't find it interesting, but it's, I suppose, fairly well written. Like if you were to write it down in a book, it might be relatively interesting, uh, relatively poetic. Um, but I was just bored. I was like, I didn't find Galadriel's polite, interesting. I didn't find Elrond interesting. Actually, the one elf I did kind of enjoy was Gilgalad because he looked like the original actor who played him and he seemed like an elf from Middle Earth from the Lord of the Rings. The rest didn't seem like them necessarily. Um, I found just there are a few things that just seemed kind of odd, like when she jumped into the water and like Valinor is kind of really far away. So I was like, that's like, jumping off halfway, I don't know, isn't it like the equivalent of jumping off like halfway between like Australia and New Zealand? Like you, you just wouldn't do it. Like you, you're pretty much going to die. Yeah, like she, she gets on the boat with these random people that have had a thing and, and it was mildly interesting that, that part with the with the big sea dragon thing. But who was that guy? I don't really care. Um, what else? It just, it just felt... Again, people have been saying like this costs thirty million dollars on average an episode, and it it just felt like you could get slightly more interesting stuff happening for thirty million dollars. Like um, you watch, what are we watching at the moment? We're watching Orange Is the New Black. Every episode, pretty pretty interesting. Like all the characters are great. Like I'm always like, who's my favorite character this episode? Like they're all they're all they've got something interesting about them even though they're just doing the most mundane stuff in a prison, whereas this is the, you're in like this fantasy world and yet everything doesn't feel fantastic or like there's nothing, there should be more substance there. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's kind of what I was expecting. Like I didn't think, as soon as I'd heard back in the day that Amazon was making a, sh a series, I just did think they were gonna kind of be a little bit of a cash grab. Um, sort of uh i just think it's yeah like like okay back in the day i used to um oops back in the day i think i read the silmarillion now it wasn't the, like i was a teenager and it didn't really I'll, I'll be honest it didn't really grab me as a as a teenager too much like i read it and it was um maybe if i reread it it might be more interesting but i didn't feel necessarily that there was a lot of it was it was written more like a um 
kind of like a fantasy, like a, what would you call it, like a mythical epic where there wasn't, I didn't feel there was too much like characterization. I, I could be wrong, it was a while ago. Um, so you didn't really care too much for the characters. It's like reading like, it was like the uh, epic of Gilgamesh where you've got these big heroes and, and, and gods fighting each other and stuff. And it's not, it's just like a, it, it's a tale that doesn't have any, it doesn't go too deep into anything. Um, that's a really poor example. But uh, yeah, I think Silmarillion was a little bit like that from memory. And so therefore I don't think necessarily that it's a, that kind of old, mythical Middle Earth is necessarily the greatest place to try to make a TV show. When the show starts and you've got Galadriel and she's building a little uh, paper boat, swan thing, like an origami swan, and she puts it in the water and it starts going down the thing and then all the elf children start throwing rocks at it. I that was a that was a scene where I was like, oh, this is this is interesting. I thought that um, in my head, it, maybe other people had different ideas, but in my head, I wouldn't have thought that elves would bully each other as children. I thought they would kind of be a bit more like enlightened, or um, they're these you know these perfect beings. I wouldn't have expected there to be any bullying with ch other children. Um, that did sort of shock me a little bit. I was like, okay, this. I thought that the elves were kind of in like a paradise. I didn't think bullying kind of went along in a paradise setting. So that kind of bought, that kind of was like, oh, that's weird. That uh, put me on the on the back foot a bit. Um, and I think the show kind of, that almost sums up the show is like it. Like it's not a bad choice. It's just like not one that I would have made, and not something that I think's necessarily appropriate for the for the setting and and stuff, but. Anyway, um, what else? Oh yeah, so you got the other. There's this. Um, so you've got all the different characters. You've got the the elves, the uh, the men, who we haven't really seen too much of yet. That, but they're being overseen by this these elves. One of which is um, he's got short hair. He's quite tanned. I can't remember his name, but he is definitely the Orlando Bloom uh, Legolas elf. And unfortunately, he looks the part, but he is not a fantastic actor. I don't know why he is so, uh, he doesn't emote much. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good thing. I do kind of want to see where his plot line goes, but he, he doesn't come across like a fantastic actor. He's, um, the ro there's like some sort of like tension between him and this woman. I'm assuming that's their son, but they, there's no romantic, like, anything between them but they're, they're supposed to be maybe i'm um not reading the situation right it just seems aw just awkward uh so yeah i don't know actually hold on speaking of that they come across an a an orc an orc pops out of the ground and spoiler alert out of the ground and uh, i thought that was actually kind of cool although one thing i thought was interesting and i think i might know where they're going with it but the orc seems so strong and i think I'm assuming he's one of the, that orc is one of the first tortured elves that Morgoth made. I could be wrong. Um, and maybe that's why he's so strong. He just seemed really ridiculously powerful for an orc, um, which I did kind of think was cool. And I did like the fact that it was kind of scary. Not like it wasn't scary, but it was meant to be a bit scary. I thought that was actually really quite a good decision. Um, looking forward to seeing more of the elves. Oh, sorry, more of the orcs. Um, but yeah, all in all, like, it did feel like the show that Wheel of Time wanted to be. And I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I think if it felt, yeah, it felt like Lord of the Rings is here, Wheel of Time's here, and Rings of Power is like here. And, but it, yeah, I don't know. It just, it, to me, it didn't feel like Lord of the Rings, it didn't feel like Middle Earth necessarily, it felt like someone doing a generic fantasy show in the style of Lord of the Rings. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but if you want a Lord of the Rings experience, it doesn't quite hit the mark. In the first two episodes. Um, so yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about that. I'll, I might do another video in 
maybe in into the season. We'll see how it goes, um, if I'm still watching it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment below. Tell me if you like the video. Do you want me to just do my voice next time? Um, will you even watch this video? We'll find out. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.